In this uh, tutorial, we will look at uh, membrane technology uh, that is used in uh, separation processes. Membrane technology allows us to uh, separate very small size particles uh, down to the molecular and ionic level. This is in comparison to uh, what you may be most familiar with, uh, the conventional separation systems, uh, which are also called uh, dead-end filtration where we may use filtration to separate suspended particles that are typically larger than uh, 10 micrometers. A very common procedure will be uh, where particles are retained by a filter and those particles start to build up with time as a what is called a cake layer uh, that results in increased resistance to filtration. So it requires uh, frequent cleaning and also, of course, replacement of uh, filters. Now in this uh, type of a system, gravity is the main force for separation. And as we note here, the feed flows in a perpendicular direction to the filter medium. Another feature to note in the conventional separation system is that it's open to the atmosphere. Next, uh, we will look at uh, membrane separation systems where the filters that are used are very thin membrane filters. The liquid flows under pressure and it is forced to flow along the surface of the membrane. Uh, this is in contrast to the dead-end filtration that we just saw, where the flow was in perpendicular direction uh, to the uh, surface of the filter. The flow then sweeps the particles that get retained as a cake layer, and the cake layer remains relatively thin, and therefore the resistance to filtration remains low in comparison again to the dead-end filtration. So in uh, membrane filtration, because of the flow of the liquid, uh, there is a high flux that is maintained over a long period of time. Recall that the flux is the permeate that is flowing through the membrane. In contrast to dead-end filtration, the membrane separation systems are closed systems. They are not open to the atmosphere. And the particle size that is separated is of less than 10 micrometers. And let's uh, briefly look at the four different commonly used uh, membrane technologies that are used in the food industry and how they may be different from each other. Microfiltration is uh, used often to remove bacteria and to separate uh, larger size molecules. Uh, they are commonly used to reduce bacteria in skim milk, whey, brine, and uh, defatting whey. It's also used to make whey protein concentrate and to fractionate proteins. Ultrafiltration is uh, used to separate large macromolecules such as proteins and starches and ultrafiltration is also used for concentrating milk proteins in milk and whey. Nanofiltration is used to concentrate organic components. It will remove part of the monovalent ions, for example sodium and chloride. Nanofiltration is also used for partial desalinization of whey. Reverse osmosis is used to concentrate solutions by removing water. In the dairy industry, it is used as part of the process in uh, dehydration of whey. We will uh, look at these technologies in terms of their pressure requirements in another tutorial.